Okay, Andy. In the last two lessons, we used levels and curves in a very, very visual way. And it worked. But I've got images, and I tried that on them, and it does not work. Well, I said it would only work about maybe, what, six out of ten times? There are times when you have to rely on a little bit of math or a little bit of understanding of how color works without really being a rocket scientist. So let's do this. Go up to the word file and go down to browse in bridge. Let's open up one of our photos again. Let's do this one right here. Just double click and open it. Okay. We have a photograph. This is actually going to be easy if it works. Andy, I've tried a few of these kind of visual things and it ain't working for me. I still can't get it right. What do I do? This is deceptively simple. If you've got something in the image that has a neutral tone, like that concrete on the left, or actually even probably those gravelly areas right in here, and believe it or not, these poles coming up here are actually painted gray. I have a lot going for me here. Let's go ahead and do this through an adjustment. It's always smart to do non-destructive editing. Click our little half moon icon. Let's go to Levels. In Levels, you have three eyedroppers. And those eyedroppers control white point, black point, or some people call highlights and shadows. And the middle one is for gray tone. Think of this. The colors in an image, if they're out of temperature, it's like taking a wheel and spinning the wheel with all the colors on it. We need to put the wheel back where it's supposed to be. Gray sometimes can do that for you with one click. All we have to do is come over here, and I suppose I should make this harder than it really is, but come over here and select the middle button, locate an area on the image that you believe would be neutral. When you click on it, the computer will use that neutral to spin the wheel back and put the colors all back in place. And check this out. Let's come over here and try it. One click. Look at that. One click fixed this image. Now we could have tried the bars or these big steel beams right here. We probably could have even clicked down here. It's actually not too bad either. It's a little bit too in the yellow side though. We can come over here and try up here. Or we can come over here again. I like that one the best. I think that is really a neutral gray concrete. So, if you're having trouble playing around visually with levels or curves, if you have an area in your image that's got neutral tone in it, you very possibly might be one click away from balancing the temperature of that image and getting all your colors back exactly the way they're supposed to be.